Bruce, how are you? I, I am so good. Can I ask you though, is there an element of performance or acting in professional sports? Yes. You have to, you have to act like uh, that you want to be there every night. You got to act like you don't hurt. You have to act like you like some of your teammates. You have to act like you don't care what the media says. There's a lot of acting. So there is acting. Well, when did you think I can take this to another level? At what point did you start thinking about, yeah, I'm, I'm going to have an acting career? I was 12 years old. At the same time, yeah, at the same time, I knew I wanted to be a professional basketball player. I used to tell people, I'm going to be a professional basketball player, get famous, and then I'm going to move to Beverly Hills, and I'm going to do movies, and I'm going to do films, and I'm going to do TV shows. And I used to say all of this. And my mother called me a prophet when I was 25. She said, 13 years ago, he said he was going to do exactly what he was doing. And then when I got my first movie in 93 with Bad Boys, um, I was it. I was like, I want to do this. Wow. And Would you... You yeah. call something for me. I want to have something, something like that. That's going to be great. You have to, have. to do it. You have to do it. Oh, I have to do it. Okay. Well, yeah. when did the dancing and the the singing and the rapping come in? So I started rapping when I was um, nine years old, and then uh, when I was fourteen or uh, fifteen, I had my own crew called uh, MC Johnny T and, and the Mass Production Crew. And then at eighteen, I went to college, and all I did is listen to hip hop. And then I owned a studio in Detroit called Hoop Sound Studio. And I, I was trying to get different artists and get them signed to record labels. I have my own record label now, my own artist. My daughter's a recording artist. And then I, uh, I started taking acting classes in 19, 1992. And, and I would, that's my getaway. But Just like dancing. Kobe Bryant. We used to call it. Oh, the dancing. They asked me to do dancing with the squad unless... once, and I, um, I, I'm glad I watched the movie. I watched it with my wife and my daughters at the Pan African Film Festival. We screened it for um, some students. I'm so happy how they edited my dancing. Well, I really, I, I am, I am, I am really happy with the performance and how the performance went. But uh, I, I, I tell you, I was. I was up hours and nights and in my in my little apartment in Toronto, trying to get the steps, trying to remember the words, playing the tape over and over and over. Um, it's it's really hard. It's a really look, hard. Thing. I have a different you look. Look great. Thank you. Thank you. I wish I had a piece of that. That was really good. Oh yeah. Well, let me tell you. Uh, it just needs to look good on camera. No one needs to know what it looked like before the camera hit, right? Just edit me, edit me, right? <laughs> How do you deal with these actors that are are much shorter than you? Is that difficult to, to work with? Or what do you do, put them on boxes or what? No, you know, what's funny is in life, people are shorter than me. It just takes a really, you know, I asked Spike Lee why he didn't put me in basketball, um, uh, basketball Jones. And, you know, I've been friends with him since, I don't know, 1988, 80, 80, 86. And he was like, I don't want to direct my friends in the movie. I go, you're not friends with Denzel. And he didn't know what to say. Yeah. He, just, he didn't, he obviously didn't think I had the chops. And that's what I love about this movie. Cause I know Spike Lee is going to see it and he's going to be like, you do have chops. I was like, I always had chops, man. Listen to me. So I, I'm just happy. yeah, I'm happy that it worked out. Well, I think you do a great job in this and I want more dancing. I think it's good. Yeah, I just go with the rapid. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks so much, John. Appreciate it. And good luck with all those future things. But Thank I'm counting you. on you to kind of put in a word for me when you're at it. I got you.